Okay, so hello and welcome to yet another Gaming Masters video. So today we're going to be playing some Overwatch once again. And yeah, it's going to be interesting because I've not played a huge amount of this game. I only really just got it in the past few days or so. So I'm a little bit behind in comparison to some of the other people. I didn't play a huge amount during the beta either. So it'll be interesting to see how right. this game Good. plays out. So we're just waiting for the start of the game to begin in about 40 seconds. I, I find some parts of it fairly repetitive, which I think is what I dislike because it doesn't have enough variety for my liking. I've always been on the same map or two maps. So, yeah. having a different map uh, to play on would be nice, also possibly a different game. I know competitive only just launched, but you have to be over level 25 to be able to get started, which is a little bit high for me at the moment. I'm thinking only about level 3, because I've not really seen them out at all. We have got a review on our website that's a new feature that we've got called Community Spotlight. So that's by how I test uh, is come onto the channel, uh, sorry, um, helps us out with a few of the reviews and we basically linked to this video and just provided people with a review for the game still. So that we've done that with Overwatch and also Charles the Blood Dragon as well. Uh, with some more videos coming soon. And um, possibly some more content creation as well. As well as part of our spotlight program. We'll see though, we'll see. We'll try and work out the best way to do it. Remind me to stay up. Ah, damn it. I was focusing a little bit too much. I didn't that I was I still can't remember the name of the names of the characters just yet. I um I understand some of the basic mechanics and some of the basic character skills as well. Um, there's a kind of like I I the way that I define this is an archer, there's a kind of like blade dancer. There's a guy with like a door hammer. So I think that they do need to play quite a bit more to be able to give some advice on how to play the game obviously. I don't I don't know how much I'm gonna play though. I was there's a lot I was impressed a lot more with like, Battleborn, sorry. Um which came out at the same time. And I was like, oh I'm gonna play loads of this. And I probably only played about two hours of um Battleborn. And I thought that Battleborn is something that I would have preferred a lot more. So I don't know what it is, I just find some of the shooters like this, Overwatch and Battleborn. Team Fortress 2, Dirty Bomb, etc. I find them all very repetitive. I also find it a bit of juicy. Which means that part of the thing with me is I prefer Battle because there is that variety that we have of different, um, different vehicles and different weapons that you can unlock. Whereas with these, it's all like characters with specific skills. It's not actually a huge, it's not actually like customization and that's the main thing. It's like you're, you have a variety of different characters which have similar parts. I mean, different parts. But then they can do loads of different things instead than. You have one, you have four separate classes that a lot of customization, and I think I prefer keeping things simple such by having a four characters: so assault, support, recon, um, engineer, 
and then you go and customize which weapons you want, which gadgets, etc. And then you also have the ability to use vehicles. I think that's the reason why I prefer Battlefield a lot more in comparison to these competitively designed shooters. I mean, I want to play this Battlefield. Uh, I hope that they're doing some more competitive like stuff. I just find them a little bit more stale. Like, I can play three, four hours of shooting like this, and then I'll be like, left and bored. Whereas if I play Battlefield, I could play that for hundreds of hours, no problem. And it's the same as CSGO, but CSGO I have no and then I, I would just go through a phase where I want to play it, and then go through another phase where I don't want to play it. And I would have bought all of the skins and stuff like that, wasting a lot of money. Uh, well, I tend to... The thing with CSGO is I tend to get a skin for every gun, so that would be at least 30 pounds. And then... I got all of the skins of the guns, played for about 10, 15 hours, and then I was like, oh, I don't want to play this game anymore, I don't want to waste any money. So I sold all my skins, got my, got a proportion of my money back, and then five months later I came back to the game. I mean, like that with a lot of competitive shooters. Uh, unless it's not like Gears of War, Gears of War, I stay away from it. Really. I like the storyline and stuff. Like, I don't like the storyline in Gears of War, don't get me wrong. I just don't like the multiplayer. I find, I think that I struggle a bit with the, um, the kind of like competitive uh, third person shooters because I'm more of a first person gamer. <laughs> So, if I'm playing in third person, I should probably play. Which doesn't always make sense. I'm not actually in third person games. Like, in third person. I suppose it's a different style of game overall, isn't it? So, you can't really compare the two. Even though they're the same. Kind of like designed as such. Unless it's like a park or something like that. Victory. I'm gonna throw in another game for you guys in this video as well. Because that was a fairly quick game. Play I like that game. character actually. Also, never really did I wanted to give this a try. Now, why did I vote for that one? Objective kills, 20 eliminations. I should have done the watermelon guy. Hey ho! Yeah, I'm only level... Am I even level 4? No. First one of the day. Seven kills, six deaths. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I could do better, I could do worse. So let's move on to the next game now. Uh, I'm gonna go as Winston, I love Winston. Here's a guy with the Thor hammer thing, I think. Imagination is the essence of discovery. Yeah, he is. Uh, is he? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm doubting myself now. We'll see. I'm gonna stick with Winston. But I think he might not be the guy that I think he is. Which is um, useful. Because. Ooh, sniper. I want to see what a sniper is. Uh, where's a sniper? No tank heroes, no support heroes. Sniper. I want a sniper. Let's just try Come this on, character. Let's bring it together. What does this do? I have no idea what this does. I'm gonna change character again. 
that's the guy that can have the big hammer. Oh, Street Hopper hits on Street! I might change back over to the um, other guy that was in the last Attackers round of the minute. Attackers incoming we'll in see. 30 seconds. Depends how this round goes. We're defending, so it should be okay. I hope. Fingers crossed. that hooking thing. Okay. He's the guy that kept on getting me on the um, last round. So this is the same hero, getting the same hero. And I believe in this game, which is always a nice uh, thing because not many games do that. Which is a shame because it really does divide up the players. I know a lot more games are going in, but very few games have done it until recently. Battlefield 4 community maps and stuff like that. That was when they really started to consider free DLC, free characters, etc. in major AAA titles because if you ever look at things like Battleborn. Um, this Titanfall 2, there are quite a few games now which are having free content. Uh, Diamonds is having a lot of free content, which definitely helps keep the player base alive. But then you have some games which is hard to buy without um, having free content because people don't buy the season passes. That little bit then, that like three second uh, period, really fun pace. I wasn't expecting that at all. It'd be interesting to try out competitive. I'll try and get to level 25 for you guys and try out competitive. It's making me want to return to Dirty Bomb actually, thinking about it. I've not played Dirty Bomb in almost a year, I think now. Because it's been out for almost a year. I also kind of want to go back to Rocket League. Uh, no, yeah, Rocket League. I probably will. I got a killer set. Well, it's the uh, so I should really damage. So I have this kind of LMG thing now that I'm going to try out when we get around this corner. But there's not much left of this game. It's going down to about a minute now. I haven't got to the second objective just yet. Nice. Oh, 
Wait, where did I get shot from? Ah, uh, it was the bow and arrow. I won the bow and arrow, actually. I'm not sure which character it is. Um, is it the bow maker? One shot. No, it's not. One shot. Ten seconds. The bow maker actually looks like a power. It's more like the thing. It's like a... Game. Oh no, we've got overtime, so that's good. Objective lost. Stop the payload. So I've got just under three minutes of overtime now. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to get used to the um control scheme because I'm so used to ADSing. Uh, because I'm, I'm used to just tapping the aim down slight button. Locked and loaded. Uh, when I play Battlefield and Call of Duty and stuff like that, I tap it. So I stay down ADS and then aim and then on tap to not ADS. So it's a little bit harder to ADS. But I'm sure that there's a setting in the menus option for me to change it over if I need to. So, oh, I have no idea why it's spawned so far away. Or if, I, or if we swap sides, I'm not sure. Because this thing seems to be moving fairly quickly. Okay. Now, I wonder what the actual power ups on this character. I've not played this one before, so all I know is the name is Widowmaker and it's a sniper. You can have electric shot, and then I can have a thing that pulls you further. Okay, and then I wonder what the huge power-up thing is, the Y one, which takes an insane amount of time to charge. Now that didn't make much of a difference. inside the building. I, I went inside there multiple times and didn't twig that there was a guy inside there. Uh, nice win. GG. I hope you've enjoyed this video of Overwatch. If you want to see more Overwatch on the Play channel, the leave a link, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, it's an interesting game. If you want to check out all the people, it's over on the website. Uh, thanks to the hard time test for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, and of course, as always, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.